Hey, Solomon, and I'm just going to apologize if I completely butchered your name just now, but uh, this is Melissa. We spoke earlier on the phone today. I just wanted to shoot a quick video over to you showing some of the things that I found. Um, so I went through the two websites that you um, had mentioned to me. So this one, the first one, the SR remodeling home services.com you can see here it um looks like it is not active and it has been temporarily removed and then when i went to the other website um, it looks like it's not in service either so i went a couple steps ahead and uh, just looked up to see what domain names were available because i know you mentioned you might want to switch it over to sr roofing so just so you know, um, for future reference, um, srroofing.com is not available, but srroofing.net, srroofing.org is available, and also srroofingfl.com is available if you'd be interested in any of those in the near future, if you decide to uh, go that route with the roofing name. So once you do have a website up and running, uh, I just wanted to show you a few things um, that you can do to really get your website to the top of this Google page and outrank the competitors. Um, so we're going to go through and basically do an audit. So when you look up Roofing Orlando, search that on the Google page, uh, this is what comes up. So all of these top guys up here, they're paying for their ads. So people are paying per click. Every time you click on this, they're actually paying for people to get to their website. Um, and if you scroll down a little bit more, um, this is called the map pack. So this is what we talked about a little bit earlier on the phone. Um, all of these people have what's called a Google My Business page, and I actually found yours. However, it says that you're permanently closed, which is not a good sign, buddy. Uh, nobody's going to really click on this and find you if they think that you're closed. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. You might want to update that, um, or I can help you if you need help doing that. Um, okay, so this is the map pack. Um, you really want to be on the first page of this once you do get your uh, Google My Business page up and running. You really want to rank it and try and get to one of these top three because people usually when they go through here, they're not going to click to the next page. They're going to choose one of these guys up here. Um, and the best way to do that is to have at least 25 uh, five star reviews, add pictures to it, make sure your website's working, um, all that good stuff. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, this is what's called the organics. So you really want to be on the first page of this as well, um, ideally in these top three, because these are the guys that are going to be getting the most business. People don't typically go to the next page. They're going to click on one of these websites and uh, call them. So they're going to get all the phone calls, which essentially would turn into business. And I think that this guy, Roofing Advantage, um, actually has a Google My Business page in the top three as well. Yeah, this Advantage Roofing. So this guy's really going to be found. He's going to get the most business because he's up here in the map pack. And then he's also the first on these organic listings. So let's go take a look at his website and uh, see how he's getting there. All right, so here's this guy's website. Um, it looks good. It looks really professional. I like the colors. Uh, has a call to action page right here, which is really good to have. Um, I can tell you right off the bat though, he doesn't have enough content on his homepage. So he would actually be pretty easy to beat out um, content wise. So let's talk about content. Um, so when somebody searches for say roofing Orlando, um, Google has what's called crawlers. They crawl the internet searching and ranking all those results. So they're looking for keywords on what your site should be found for. So things like the services that you offer, what areas you serve, um, things of that nature. And one thing that I can tell you about Google is they love content. So they really like to see a minimum of 1500 words of content on your homepage using those keywords that we talked about about 10 to 15 times. And that's really going to um, make you more easily found in Google's eyes. So let's talk about why they are listed first. Um, I use this software program called Aerofs and I pulled up their website in here so we can see what we're up against. Um, so basically the first thing that you want to look at is this UR and DR rating. Those are super important numbers as far as Google is concerned. So this UR rating, that's how much Google trusts your site. And the DR rating is how powerful your site is in Google's eyes. And these numbers are typically raised by backlinks. 
So you're probably wondering what the heck a backlink is. <laughs> so a backlink is any website, article, or blog that's referring people back to your site. Um, they basically see it as a popularity contest. The more people that are referencing your website URL, the more Google sees your site as being powerful and trustworthy. So just looking at um, some of their numbers, they have over 3,000 backlinks coming from 122 referring domains. Um, and that's coming from 62 powerful sites. So that's a lot of the reason why they are being listed first on that Google page. Um, so if we go in and look at these organic keywords that they have on their site, those are the keywords that we were talking about earlier, like roofing Orlando, um, roofing Orlando, Florida, something like that. So if you look at this, um, you can see Orlando roofing. This is being searched 600 times a month. Um, Advantage Roofing, that's just their company name, so that's not as important. But uh, Roofing Company Orlando is being searched 200 times a month. Roofing Companies Orlando, 900 times a month. That's really a lot of search volume for these keywords. So you really want to try and um, put those keywords on your website once you get one up and running. And again, these keywords are really going to help you um, help people find your site. And obviously, the more people that find your site, the more phone calls you're going to get and the more that turns into customers. Right. So I hope that you found this helpful and maybe you can get yourself a website up and running and implement some of these strategies, put some of those keywords on there and get some more business coming your way just through throwing up a website. Um, please feel free to leave me some feedback and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Have a great one.